as it frames the grain and a little bit of money We put it back in the plate, I guess it's why they call it God's country Baptized in holy water and shine with the dogs running Saved by the sound of a pin found Dixie whistle in the wind That'll get you heaven bound The devil went down to Georgia but he didn't stick around This is God's country We turn the dirt and work until the week's done We take a break and break bread on Sunday then to be from God's country I saw the light in a sunrise Sitting back in the 40 on the muddy riverside Getting baptized in holy water And shine with the dogs running Saved by the sound of a been found Dixie whistled in the wind That'll get you heaven bound The devil went down to Georgia But he Yep, there's no real tricks on this build. It's just seismic commander bleed. Friggin' meta build, most OP on dev. My own little personal tweak on it is that it's even more of a tank. So, I can't like instant kill the Arbiter like a maxed out, like full anomaly powered bleed dev could. But I, say I do that because I still have some health buffs and resistance buffs. Now, our, and armor buffs, because the true glass can't, the true seismic speedrunners don't even use protected by the anomaly skill node, so they have no armor. But I mean, literally, that skill node alone gives you max armor, so <laughs> I just can't pass it up. And then I still get resistance in the tree, so I get tons of resistance and armor and decent amount of health. More health also means more shield and more shield regen. And then status effects. Uh, buff regen your shield from earthen shield as well. That's why I have toxic fire, all that stuff. Increases shield regen and healing even more. And for that reason, he can actually face tank the final arbiter. Pretty much face tank him, even during the axe phase, because as long as he just keeps slamming earthquakes and impales and shooting him, like taking pot shots to activate firestorm and all that, I mean, he's invincible. He's getting healed by bleed and fire and toxic. The anomaly power stacks still make them all do decent enough damage that they all heal me a bunch from skill leech. Because max health also increases your threshold for healing. Like, damage increases your healing, yes, from your skill leech. But what a lot of players don't know is the more health you have, the higher maximum your heal is. 
So the trick to getting a crap load of healing is to have a uh, decent mix of the two. Which is why I went a decent mix of the two on this guy. Because with blood donation, earthen shield, all that stuff, his, his healing is just, it's just crazy. He never takes damage. And if he rarely does, which is usually just because he, he didn't get he didn't hit something to get Earthen Shield off quickly enough before he started taking damage. I mean you can see in other videos, he heals his health bar so insanely fast. He is almost as good as a techno for healing. By the way, the, when you see the build, um, the last mod I want to get, I've said this before in past videos, still haven't found it. I want to get rid of River of Blood on my pants, you'll see, for Captain Hunter eventually. Just because I don't need River of Blood to still kill the basic enemies just fine by myself or with groups too. But Captain Hunter would boost my damage not just on Impale, but on everything against Elites. And would make him kill the Arbiter another few seconds faster, I'd say. So, because right now I think it takes him a minute or over a minute to solo the Arbiter, final one. So that would probably bring him down under a minute in solo at least. So yeah, I want to do that. And then he'll be pretty much completely done. His guns are all perfect. Maybe get Weapon Leech on the pistol. By the way, I forgot to mention, Weapon Leech also heals you based off damage over time mods. So he heals even more from Weapon Leech on his gun too. 